welcome to Somerset Weekly Wrap-Up for the week of April 21st to April 27th. The selectmen, by a two-to-one vote, decided on Wednesday to place articles on the town meeting warrant in May that will ask voters to approve of a town planner and a grant writer. The proposals were made by Selectman Chair Jameson Souza, who said the planner will help with economic development to help bring in more revenue to the town. He said the grant writer would be shared with the Somerset School Department and would help to bring in grant money from outside sources to give the taxpayers some relief. With the town's budget proposal at this point, Selectman Alan Smith questioned whether the town could afford the positions and wanted to take some time to vet the subject more. He said he thought it would have been better to put the articles on a special town meeting warrant in October. Souza and Selectman Jacob Vaught voted in favor of putting the articles on the May town meeting warrant, while Smith voted against doing that. The Somerset Berkeley Regional School Committee on Tuesday decided that it will open up more slots for students who want to attend the high school under the School Choice Program. Under the state's School Choice Program, the Regional School District can accept students from other school districts besides Somerset and Berkeley and receives $5,000 per student. In recent years, the committee has decided to accept up to 15 freshmen into the school choice program. This year, the committee decided to accept 20 freshmen and three sophomores. Part of the reason for that is there are less students in the incoming freshman class. Another reason for that choice is because a sophomore student from Bishop Conley, which is closing after the school year, is interested in attending SBRHS. Water and Sewer Superintendent Paul Sylvia told the selectmen on Wednesday night that the sewer budget proposal would be a 15% increase and the Water Department budget proposal would be a 17.4% increase, but that the rates charged to residents for those services would only be a 2.5% increase. He said the typical low water user in town who uses 15,000 gallons of water per year would see a total increase of $6.11 for the entire year, while the average water user of 52,000 gallons would see an increase of $21.20 for the year. He said a high water user that uses 500,000 gallons of water per year would see a $203 increase for the year. Considering the budgets, Sylvia said he feels those increases are reasonable. He said the budget proposals are at minimum levels to meet the needs of the water and sewer department operations, as well as requirements of the Department of Environmental Protection. The Somerset Lions Club will hold its all-you-can-eat pancake breakfast on Sunday from 7 a.m. to noon at the Church of Our Savior, located at 2112 County Street in Somerset. The cost is $10 for adults and $5 for children 12 years old and under. People can pay at the door. Advanced tickets are not required. In sports, the Somerset Berkeley Regional High School boys tennis team won its seventh match in a row with a 5-0 win over Dighton Rehoboth on Tuesday. For the Blue Raiders, single players Joseph Ramos, Zach Costa, and Max Pettit won their matches. Doubles teams of Matt Carlisi and Jackson Souza and Ian Sullivan and Nat Ashton Corey won their matches. The Blue Raiders now have a 7-1 record on the season. The Somerset Berkeley Regional High School girls varsity tennis team beat Dighton Rehoboth 4-1 on Tuesday. For the Blue Raiders, Abby O'Brien and Ava Aguiar won singles matches. The doubles teams of Caroline Puccini and Corey Tickle and Gabby Fernandes and Lauren Rusa both won their matches. SBRHS now has a 5-3 record on the season. Somerset Berkeley Regional High School field hockey team player Ava Ponce has signed a letter of intent to play field hockey for Johnson & Wales University. 
Ponce played center midfield for the SBRHS field hockey team last fall when she led the team in assists with 16. The Somerset Berkeley Regional High School baseball team beat Dighton Rehoboth 5 to nothing on Tuesday. Third baseman Don Alderman was 3 for 3 in the game with two doubles. Alex Medeiros, Will Dion, and Landon Richardson split up the pitching duties to combine for the shutout. SBRHS now has an 8 and 1 record. Thank you for tuning in to Somerset Weekly Wrap Up. We will see you next week with news from around Somerset. Thank you.